Well, we're off. Started the watch. <laughs> A couple of minutes just to get warmed up. It's very cold. Happy birthday to me. Yes, today is the day. I am 55 and this is my attempt to run 55 miles from here to Gabowin where my mother lives. Um, I'm going to continue through the day to do various feeds. Uh, morning Sean, uh, various live broadcasts, uh, pictures, whatever, but um, this is only going to be pretty brief just to sort of start things off. So I'll do some more filming later on. It's all part of the Ultra Challenge 123 that I've set myself for this 12 months. This is the second of the three challenges. Uh, aptly entitled Run My Age 55, hence 55 miles. <clears throat> it's all to raise funds for, obviously it's a personal challenge for me. Uh, and the personal challenge today is to try and get it done in less than 12 hours so I'm not going to be too long talking to people um, but yeah it's all to raise money and awareness for seven hospice uh, so if you do fancy sending me a bit of cash it's www. sorry www.justgiving.com forward slash fundraising forward slash tg80 so without further ado I'm going to get going and I'll see you out on the trails. Thanks again for your continued support. Keep watching through the day and we'll see how this crazy adventure progresses. Okay, so we're on our way. Uh, Today's going to be slightly different. I'm not going to keep recapping on why I'm doing this and uh, how far I'm going and whatever. Apart from that, this this one is the introduction one. I'm running 55 mile from where I live to my mum's house because today is my 55th birthday. That's it. Everything else is in information regarding the post and will be in the final video. So these are going to be updates throughout the day of this crazy adventure. Um, I'm currently uh, probably about 50, 56 minutes into the start. Uh, I've done 5.79 miles and I'm heading towards Wumban. Um, I've got various checkpoints along the way. The first major one is at 25 mile where Mrs. G will be waiting for me with the rest of the gear and any more supplies that I may need. I've got what I need that I think will cover me for the first, shall we say, marathon distance. And then we'll see how we get on from there. The updates that I'm going to try and do, obviously, like I say, at key points throughout the throughout the run and throughout the adventure. Um, the aim is to get there within 12 hours. If I go over the 12 hours, you know, it's, it's not major. The key thing is to get there. But as a personal thing, I'd like to get there in 12 hours or less. Um, it's going to be slightly different this time. I have scheduled in these five minute walks. As much as I'd love to like take photographs and things of all the scenery, I have to stay focused on the task in hand this time. It's different with the stuff I've done before. I can just sort of blast it out and get on with it. And that's that. This one's slightly different. I need to schedule these moments where I sort of uh, refuel, have something to eat, collect my thoughts, do anything that I need to do within that five minutes. It also gives me a little bit of a focus and a focal point so I know that I'm having um, a legitimate sort of five minute walking break uh, every hour. So the plan is, unless it's unsafe to do so, I will run for 55 minutes. Wherever that 55 minutes ends, I will then walk um, and then hopefully uh, it should break it up, uh, break it up nice and easy. But uh, yeah, let's just buzz it round. On our way down. At the moment, it's going pretty good. Like I say, these are going to be short and sweet. Then I can edit them all together at the end. That's where we're at the moment. Just coming up to the six-mile mark. 
nearly five past seven, so I need to start and get running again. Okay. The Bridge North Road, so yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty busy. Heading down to the, the Royal Oak, which should get me at around 12 and a half, 13 mile maybe. Uh, everything's, everything's on plan at the moment. Uh, drinking well, I'm gonna have something to have something to eat in a minute. It's a glorious day to be running. Hands were a little bit cold to start off with, but uh, let's just pan you around for a few minutes. So yeah, it's a good uh, it's a good place to be running if it, uh, it wasn't such a main road, but this is the most direct route to get me basically to get me where I need to to be. Uh, the next sort of break I'll be approaching the sort of 18 mile mark around the Sutton Maddock area just before we dip down into Colport and then head on towards Ironbridge. So, we'll uh, keep it going. Looking good so far. Oh man, that's a nice surprise. Nice one, mate. <laughs> Fantastic. Good to see you. Thought we'd come and. Uh... Fantastic, now. Much appreciated, mate. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Inspiration. Keep you going all the nice way. Nice one. Okay. Back on the strolling. Run a little bit further this time in between the stops. Um, just want to get off the main road. I want a little country cut through line now. And then it's a little bit, I wouldn't say off road. Um, it's not really proper road. There's a few country lanes now and a bit of woodland area. A few tracks going through the. Um, uh, it's just, oh, where is it? It's the back end of like what they call the Apley Estates. Um, Sutton Industrial Park Farm or something like that. I've got to cut through there and then basically pick up the River Severn. Uh, that'll be on my left. Follow the River Severn all the way through to Ironbridge then. Outside of Ironbridge, I'll actually go through the town centre, past the power station on the left, still following the River Severn. Just takes you out onto Buildwas Road, I think it's called. About 10 past nine. Just coming up to 10 past 9. I'm on just over 18 mile. So according to obviously pausing the watch and stuff like that. Uh, on proper time, I've probably been out about three hours. Three hours five minutes. On actual watch time, it's just gone through the three hours. Um, obviously I pause it to, to go and have a wild wee and do other things. Uh, but, uh, not really a great deal to see. As I say, it's a little cut through, little cut through road um, down towards this estate. And then uh, I say, I'm going to be heading. Yeah, it is a bit, it is a bit dodgy with the, the feet on some of the track coming up. I've already nearly gone over on my uh, ankle again. Um, seems to be a bit of a weak thing at the moment, the left ankle. Just need to just be careful and keep scheduling these walks. Slow down, um, slow down a fraction. Keep getting stuff in my trainers. We'll need to take those off and check everything later. Um, yeah, slow down a fraction. There's a few little hills back there. Um, took it out my legs a bit, but as I say, there's, uh, there's no rush, so everything's uh, everything's pretty much on track where i want it to be at the moment i think once we get through iron bridge and i get to the first checkpoint and see nick that'll be good um just as a sort of restock and take stock of everything but at the moment everything's on track but i do think once i get to that sort of point 25 30 mile i'm going to naturally uh, slow down quite a bit but we'll uh, cross that bridge when we come to it on the move now. Little impromptu, uh, little impromptu video. Going downhill. Not too good for the knees, but uh, thought I'd do a little, 
little section through here because it's a lovely part. Um, just put that around there. Coal port, the bridge. And as I said, I'm now cutting off here. Uh, right down by the River Seven. I literally now follow the River Seven for about for about three mile, just over 20 mile in to the day. Like I say, I'll be following this now for about three mile, uh, straight into Iron Bridge, out the other side. I mean, Nick, it's just too nice. I might just pop up here. Too nice not to film. Yeah, might not see, but the rivers, rivers down there. I'm going over that bridge. Have to be careful. Got a few little aches and pains now, so just taking it easy. No rush. Just go over this bridge, and then uh, I shall just get uh, get cracking. Taxed by a pair of robins. You can see the river. Just put it round. Can't really zoom in on these things, but yep, there we go. That's where we're at. Just a 20 and a half mile heading towards Ironbridge. On the move again. Just approaching the first the first major checkpoint to meet. To meet Nick, Mrs. G. A uh, bit later getting here than I anticipated or projected, shall we say. But uh whew. legs are unusually tight, but the terrain coming down the side of the River Seven. Uh, it's quite tricky really, quite quite unstable, quite bumpy. But uh, there she is. That's it, hang on, 25 mile. Uh, we, have a, we have another supporter on the side of the road. Surprise, surprise, bros here. Fantastic. <coughs> hey, Mrs. G. Right. Oh, yeah. This is the lady who lives in. She's just donated £20. Oh, fantastic. Thank you very much. Oh, it's warm. Very, very warm. Just, just the last hour has gone, uh, gone really warm. Gone through the 32 mile mark, approaching uh, at Atcham, Atcham Bridge and Attingham Park. Uh, lovely part of the world again. Followed the river, really, like I say, all the way through Iron Bridge. Uh, some real proper big surprise at 25 mile. Todd showing up on his bike. I knew he'd show up somewhere, but. Didn't expect him to be this, but that's the entrance to Attingham Park. And you probably see Nick over the road, uh, 
this is the next one of our checkpoints at 32 mile mark but uh, I'm just going to nip in and well, there's the car get something to eat uh, you have a point <laughs> fantastic but yeah so here you are support crew yeah it's just time to have another little pause the watch for a little bit uh, two walks and two walks so the plan is from now unless I feel like just cracking on uh, legs are legs are holding up but after 32 mile they're going to be down a little bit so uh, slight change of plans now uh, instead of going for sort of 55 minutes and then having a five minute walk I'm going to run for three mile then have a five minute walk run for three mile obviously unless it's it's a bit of a do bit of a dodgy place to actually do it but uh, yeah that's the plan but I'm going to catch my breath for five or ten minutes and uh, see what needs replenishing Take I think I'm just just over 35 mile uh, walking through Shrewsbury. Um, I haven't done anything on live because I wanted to just crack on and get things done. Tim, fantastic mate. Good to see you this morning. Spurred me on a treat that did. Well played. Um, yeah, I've been making some video segments to put a little video together and I have said in there that the whole plan today was to um, to run for 55 minutes who's that on there? Je is that Jess? I can't say because the sun's out I think it's Jess um, the whole plan was to run today for 35 no 55 minutes and then to walk for 5 and it did sort of it did sort of work out for the um, Check these off to see a bit better. It did sort of. Uh, whoa, that's bright. Um, it did sort of work out for the first three hours, um, but then one thing and another, legs started getting tired and everything. So we've opted for now every three mile. This one will be a bit longer, but sort of every three mile, um, I shall do a five mile, a five mile walk. There's there's about 20 mile to go. Um, so warm now I've had to strip down to just shorts and a t-shirt when I see Nick at the next um, who's that? Aglin, how you doing? Claire, afternoon Gemma, hello there um, yeah when it's uh, when we meet Nick in about another uh, three, four mile I need to put the short socks on change my socks and just have a little bit of reworking it's got too warm now uh, I've had the shades on most of the day but um, when Todd came out on his bike and when I actually first started this morning I had gloves on for two hours it was absolutely freezing but the last the last couple of hours now now the sun's got to its sort of highest highest points it's uh, cracking on but we're, we're doing pretty good uh, like I say slow and steady now um, got to 35 mile Still got 20 to go, so you know we will max into no man's land now. This is the furthest. Actually, you know it's not quite the farthest, is it? Because we did run to the castle, didn't we? That's 42. So once we get to the next checkpoint, um, yes, I suppose yeah, singly. Um, yeah, waffling on a bit now. I'm gonna sign off. Struggling a bit now. Let's have a just put this down for two seconds. I'm on a bit of a trail. A little bit of a trail section now. Todd's at to, Todd can't come up this bit because of the because of the type of bike he's got on the tyres. Tina, hello. Um, so Todd's had to go the roadway. 
but this is the way I've got to go and it's a bit of a trail and it's uphill at the moment so it's a bit of a struggle at the moment but keep pushing on and we'll walk up here a bit so yeah I'm sticking with the sticking with the plan for those who weren't on this before I've done it more in the little videos that I've done but um, the plan at the moment well the plan to start off with was every 55 minutes I'd have a walk for five minutes Simon how you doing mate I'd have a walk for five minutes in each hour uh, that was okay for the first three hours but once I started tiring and slowing down a bit so uh, re the plan now so everything after the 25 mile mark, which is where uh, my brother Todd surprised me uh, and met up with me and he's been with me ever since on his bike. I knew he'd show up somewhere but I didn't expect him that early. Nick's a few miles down the road at the next checkpoint. But yeah, the, some, of the, some of the uphill sections and look at, like I say, every three mile now I'm having at least a five minute walk to take some fluids on, maybe eat a little bit um, just take stock of you know the situation uh, but seem to be doing okay at the moment like I say, just uh, I've roughly been out so I'm going to set off, I set off at five past six so I'll be getting I've been out in about seven hours now um, but actual moving time because obviously pausing my watch when I get to checkpoints and stuff it actually took me, uh, I think that's 6 hours 27 so far, is that right? Yeah, 6 hours 27 and that's got me to 38 mile, so not doing too bad. Uh, 17 mile left to go. Uh, once we've got to this, once I get past 40, that's it. I've never been past 40, not in a single, a single event like this. Um, in a in a same day, shall we say, in in, in one stint, you know, I've, I've done things where I've broke it up over two or three days, but um, once we get past forty mile, that'll be the uh, sort of no man's land. So it's all it's all experience. It's all, it's all learning how the body is sort of going to react to it. But I think this should be coming back up onto the main road now. So Nick. Nick should be at the next checkpoint, which is about the 39 mile mark, so it's not too far away, so it's gone so warm. As I could say on an earlier feed this morning, first thing, I was in gloves, long sleeve shirt. Uh, it's probably a bit too warm now, but uh, I'm alright. <laughs> Just, uh, just gone through Shrewsbury, a few miles back. Which Shrewsbury was the, uh, I think we hit Shrewsbury at the 35 mile mark. The column right at the top of the town, over the bridge through the town centre, which was packed. Uh, seems to have lost my brother, maybe up ahead a little bit. Um, I had to take a small, uh, I had to take a small um, trail track part of my route and obviously Todd with the bike that he's got he can't um, he can't go down there with his tyres the way they are but uh, the reason I'm actually filming along here now is just over the road and behind a fence uh, there's actually Seven Hospice uh, Dickton Heath which is uh, the actual place where my dad was and the actual place that I'm raising raising the money for uh, I've only ever been down this part of the road the once um, I don't know where Todd is um, but yeah I don't know whether you can actually see over the fence and actually see um, see the place itself I'm not too sure but definitely somewhere along the back of here is uh, Seven Hospice. Anyway, that's where we're at the moment. I'm currently, uh, like I say, I've just come through Shrewsbury. Um, and let's just have a look at the mileage. Uh, 38 and a half mile. So there's 
I've done a fair bit, but still have a hell of a long way to go. Legs are tiring now. Uh, need some more painkiller. Uh, just up here should be the next checkpoint at about 39 mile mark, so I'll see Nick in a minute and uh, have a bite to eat. I haven't been snacking today, really. I think it's time I had what I call some proper food. Maybe stop for 10 15 minutes, have a proper break, and then uh, crack on with the sort of last third of it. Um, I've no doubt that the walking, my walking will get, shall we say, a little bit more into the equation of running. Uh, sticking with the sticking with the plan from first thing slightly adapted uh, walking for five minutes now every three mile instead of every five and a half or every 55 minutes or whatever it was but uh, seems to be working it's a little folk little focal points run for sort of two and a half mile walk for a quarter of a mile or however long i get cracking in five minutes but Seems to be okay. Surprising how hard it is to hold a cam and talk. The weight of it after a bit, it's far easier to walk than to run. But again, lovely part of the world. Not totally sure where my brother's got to. I know Nick will be down there, he's probably cycled on ahead. But uh, yeah, that's where we are at the moment. Heading. We're heading to a place called Montford Bridge and normally when we go down the A5 we cross over it so I've never, apart from last week when me and Nick wrecked out the route um, I haven't approached it from this way before but uh, actually go through Montford Bridge itself so that, that's, that's the sort of next town and then uh, we'll see what happens from there Well, that's right. As you can hear by the the noise level, we're now on probably the busiest stretch. Admittedly, I turn this round. Admittedly, the last time me and Last time we came up here doing a similar crazy thing, the, the path we're on seemed seemed a hell of a lot narrower, so in one respect it's uh, pretty good, but this is the worst, probably, shall we say, even dangerous section of the, of the entire route. I would say we're probably on about the 40, we're about 49 mile. We've got about another mile until the last checkpoint and then it's literally one straight country road of five mile all the way to my mum's uh, barring any hiccups I've actually been oh well I don't know now do I uh, what, what's the time now the time is it's coming up to 10 to 10 to 4 so I've actually been out here about oh, maths, nine and three parts of an hour. Coming close to 10 hours. So I have left a little bit. So we cracked on the last four or five mile. Just so if there was any problems when I got to the 50 mile, 
I'll be able to walk the whole of the way and still get into the sort of personal time that I've set, but it's looking it's looking highly likely now that I'm gonna do this within the 12 hours, but you know until I get there, see my mom on the doorstep. Uh, it's not over. So right. We're coming into coming into my mum's village. This is we're now well into the last mile. Uh, if calculations are right, we should be on 54.3 mile. And it is about probably about three parts of a mile. I will be rounding it up if it's not. But because of the problems with the watch, I need a certain number of parts on this watch. But here, here's the proof. Fantastic. Wow, that's a good bowing. <laughs> Come on, man, let's do it. Last bit. So, yeah, this is the... Uh, this will be the last entry on this. I want to see if I can get a live feed. I'm going to get to my mum's, but uh, hopefully Nick will have the video as well. But uh, I haven't done as much... I haven't done as much videoing as I thought I might do. Uh, very, very experimental, sort of, after the 30 mile mark. Not many times I've been past that, so... I had to be guided by how I felt, and there's a real rough patch. That's about the 44 mile mark. Uh, Todd managed to get us a couple of them Soleros, I think they're called, those ice, ice things. I've had this headgear on soaked in water since, since it all happened. There was a bit of sunstroke, a bit of dehydration, I don't know, but overheating a little bit. So, but you're always going to get times like that with such a distance. Your life, say hello. Hello. <laughs> fantastic. How are you doing? Hi. All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Thanks for coming. Hi. It's a bit of a surprise. I wonder who it was waving. Right, got up. I'm going to walk the rest. I've done enough. I'm going to walk through mum's now. If you excuse me, I'm going to walk. Uh, take the shades off. Thanks in my devilishly handsome looks. Here she is. Support crew. Come on, hun, say hello to the masses. You know you want to. Hello. <laughs> There's only one person that can hug the limelight in this family. Anyway, Sue Greenfield, hello there. Karen Westwood, hello there. Leanne Dursley, hello. Uh, well, thank you so much because I've had enough. Do you want to say hello to the masses? Yeah, yeah come look. Say, <laughs> say hello everyone. <laughs> Kimberly, hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, we do, we're done and dusted. Todd's still with me, over there. Fantastic, he's done, you've done 30 miles now with me, haven't you? So you've done 47 altogether. Have you? Oh, God, I'd be rounding that up. <laughs> 49 and a half. GL. Yeah, Todd's. Todd's. Uh, Donna, hello, Donna. Gemma, hello, Gemma. Uh, I'm all done. I'm all done. Thanks. Oh, I don't know, just thanks, everybody. We did have a bit of a. We did have a bit of a dodgy patch. 
I haven't done as much filming as I, I intended to do because uh, like I said on one of them it was sort of uh, where are you going now, hon? Aye, aye. Want to run? Mrs. Green running. Oh, yeah, 50, 50, 55 miles I've done. Took, up, feet, took all the lime, lime lighters running around the corner to my mum's, grabbing all the attention. I think it's her. Anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, about 40, <coughs> 44 miles wasn't good. Uh, overheating. Todd went into a petrol station. Grabbed, I think, I keep calling them Soleros. I think they are. Are they Soleros? Them ice things with uh, the lids on. Uh, no, them are calipos. Oh, calipos, calipos. Shut the and have us a layer. No, we had um, we had a couple of those calipos, and I soaked soaked this in in uh, water, and it seemed to help. But all week, obviously praying. Sue Clark, hello, Justine, hello there. Um, all done, Justine. He'll be glad to know. Uh, I don't think I'm going to put anybody through any of this again. Well, I might retire. Um, till tomorrow at least, anyway. Sunday morning run, recovery. Um, I'll be putting something on later, actually. If any, if any trotters watching, I will be putting something on about uh, Sunday morning run tomorrow. Um, I might call my bike out. Um, but yeah, that's it. We're, we're all, we're all, uh, we're all done and dusted. It's just a pain in the ass with the watch. Um, I've got this feature on my watch, whereby if you take a stumble or get into difficulty, it's, it just reacts and send, and it went into that mode. I quickly bent down to time me flipping shoelace without pausing the watch, watch, and it went into this like um, emergency mode and started like sending emergency contact details to Nick to tell him where I am and what had happened. Oh, but here comes my mom. But well, I bet you can hear that anyway. Um, so yeah, I better, uh, she'll, she'll want to say hello to you all anyway, you know, she does. Especially Karen and the one she knows from Trotters. Um. <laughs> Bless you. Let's, uh, don't get swearing now. I don't care. Right. Bless you, my son, I'll be with you. Thank well you very much. Done. Yes. There's a few people to greet you, my love. Here he is! Cheers, thank you very much. Yes, thank you. How was it? Did you feel okay? Pretty horrendous, actually. I bet you did.